Hi, hi, Crystal here. Welcome to another video with the Interactive Immersive HQ. In this video, I'm going to cover how to make this particle, exploding particle system in POPs. And POPs are still in the alpha um, mode, but you, if you have commercial license or possibly a, a educational license, and definitely with the pro license, you can email um, Deriv support team and they'll give you access to POPs. So um, I'm still learning because it's new and I'm excited to show you um, how to build this. So let's begin. So as always, we'll start with a clean network and um, if you never worked with POPs, it's a new operator family. So um, if you have the alpha uh, model, so it'll be after SOPs and uh, between SOPs and MATS. And they have a lot of similar operator names um, and operators to SOPs. For example, uh, they have a sphere, there's a box, they have grids. Um, you can make them viewer active and then you can move in it. Pops are point operators. So uh, a lot of the oper uh, operators have um, a parameter for connectivity. So this one I can, I can make it into points. And like SOPs, they can connect to geometry comps. And it's running on the GPU. So if you have a good graphics card, it is a lot faster than using stops. Great. So having that in mind, we will drop in a pattern pop. This pattern pop, I'll change the connectivity to be a point prism. And then change the number of points to be 800. And the type to be... Um, sign, ramp, and cosine. You see this funny little snake object happening. Um, then I'm going to change the number of cycles to be 10, 11, and 10. Oops. And we have this kind of spiral shape. Great, let's make this move. So the phase, I'll do abs time dot seconds. And I'll copy this and have this to be in phase one, phase two. And we have this spiraling. Beautiful. After this, I'm gonna add a noise pop. Now it's dancing, <laughs> this noise pop, I'm gonna make it to be 3D GPU. Um, I'll change the period to be two, and the harmonics, I'll keep it to be two. Harmonic spread, I'm gonna lower it to be zero. Now it has the shape and amplitude to be one. You can also adjust it if it's too much for you, but um, the exponent will be four, Actually, I have this one, and uh, we'll make it explode is controlling the exponent. Pow, 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 pow. Um, I'm going to keep this to four for now. Great. Uh, let's add a transform. In this transform, I want it to be rotating, so the trans, the rotating Y, I add a ab time dot frame times 0.5. Um, I'll make sure this is aligned to the center. This is new in pops. So um, so in the line page, I'm gonna change it to be origin. This will just make this centered or you can choose which type and I want to have it to be centered. Great, uh, afterwards I'm gonna add a trail. And this trail, the connectivity, I want it to be point prism. And the trail length, I'll, I'll lower it to be like 0 0.2, 0 0.3. Let's do that. And trail increments, I'm going to just make it to be zero. 
cool. Um, I'm going to do this in layers because I'm going to just first instance the translate on this. So I'm going to add a null. I'll give this some space because I'm going to add more pops in here. But I'm going to name this to be pop, uh, this pop instance. And above this, I'll add a box. And I'll make this box very small. <laughs> this box will be um, point uniform scale to point zero zero eight. Tiny, tiny, tiny. Connect this to a geometry. And this geometry instancing, I'll turn it on. Reference the pop instance null and just do P0, P1, P2, and translate. And right now it's so zoomed in. Let's add a camera and a light and a render top. So just like a normal geometry um, setup. Cool. Um, I'll add a null after this and call this out make this viewer active. And as we're viewing this, um, I also add a background. So before the null, I'll add a transform top and turn on the background colors, comp over background colors on and turn on the alpha to one. Great. So we have the basis of this and, um, so cool. Let's also um, be able to instance the scale of this. So I'm going to just turn off your active right now. And um, what I want to be able to instance is um, using a texture, lookup texture. And if you notice in the pops on the bottom left corner uh, over here, we have a P and that is the attribute that's on here. So there's a point attribute. So what I want to also add is a scale attribute so we can um, change the scale. So this on this lookup scale, uh, lookup texture, um, I'm going to add a scale in the, um, this attribute scale uh, scope part. And lookup attribute, I'm going to have it to be text zero and text one. Right now, it's like, what are we referencing? And it has an error. We're going to use a noise top. So noise top, um, I will make it kind of small since we're just using it for um, referencing for a lookup texture. And I'll change the type to be a 4D GPU. Great. Um, and this noise, you can make it any uh, noise you want, but I'll just kind of lower the exponent and increase the amplitude. And on the transform page um, in Translate 4D, I'll make it to be abs time frame times 0 0.01. So it's moving and reference it into this lookup texture. Cool. And on the bottom left corner, you also now see a scale. Great. And after this, I'm going to add a rearrange. Rearrange um, pop. And I'll have the input attribute to be scale. And uh, this map of high, um, let's make it to be like four. Cool. Let's add the instancing for the scale. I'll make this viewer active so we can see what's happening. And have scale to be scale zero, scale one, and scale two. So now you see a range of scales. And this rearrange can help you change uh, so the max can be five and you can also make the low bigger or smaller. Um, 
by adjusting it here. And right now, uh, let's add some material on this. So I'm going to add a thong mat and a ramp top. Uh, after this ramp, I'm at a null and connect this null to the phone to be the color map. I'm going to change the ramp type to be circular. And I'll have this be a gradient for, mm, I'll make it like a cyan to magenta color. Great and uh, connect this to a geometry. Let's make this even brighter. Cool. Uh, right now, all the, the boxes are facing the same way, um, and I want them to have some um, variation in angles. So let's also be able to change the attributes of the rotation. So after this rearrange, I'm gonna move all these to the left so I have space to add more pops. So after I rearrange, I'm gonna add a attribute pop and just make a rotation attribute. So I'll call it ROT and in the, um, actually not here, sorry. And down here, I'm going to add ROT, and I'm going to have it to be three floats because there's going to be XYZ for the attribute. And after this, I add a math mi mix. So um, I would say one of the biggest things while learning of um, how to work with POPs is getting more familiar with um working with changing the attributes and also with the math mix, but it's a very powerful uh, component on using pops. So this math mix, um, I'll add a combine. Oh, I'll first, the first combine, I'll do A plus B. So this A plus B, I'll have it to be rotation X because um, I want to control the X of the rotation and I'll add 90. So that will be the um, degree amount. You can add 40 or whatever, but, um, or 45, um, but I want to do a 90. And then the second part, I'll do not A times B. So um, wrote X referencing after the first math and then um, I'm going to have it times underscore point I. So um, like an integer of it. Great. And let's see first what happens. So I'm going to connect this rotation to be rotation zero, rotation one, Rotation two. And this math mix, I'm going to add one more and make it to be another um, A plus B. And I'm going to do rotation Y. And, y and also do underscore point. And we see more shadows and depth in there. Cool. Um, great. Let's add a button so we can able to explode this. And I am just using a button, but obviously you can make this also audio reactive. Um, I'm gonna make a button comp, not nothing really fancy. I'm gonna rename this as explode. And I'll add a math. I'll have the range to be four to um, I like this like point three 
Um, so when it explodes, it'll be 0.3. When it's not, it'll be 4. Um, I add a null. Right now, it will just go like 0.3 to 4, 0.3 to 4. So let's add a filter. And a filter with, I'll change it to be 0.5, half a second. And let's connect this to be onto the exponent. So we press it. Let's see if I make it explode even more. So one five. Great. Um, and that's pretty much the bones of everything. You can definitely dress this up to be um, prettier, like adding a bloom top. Do some post processing at the end. Make it glow a bit more. Or you can also um, add a, another uh, rectangle behind to make a backdrop and have a tab shadow. But just really want to get you a little bit comfortable with using pops and how you can see it's pretty powerful to uh, work in this workflow. Um, as always, if you make anything that you want to share, feel free to tag the HQ and myself. I'll leave the um, my handle in the caption below. And I'm excited to see what you do in your um, touch designer pop journey. So till next time, bye. Hey folks, thanks for watching. If you like our YouTube content, I highly recommend you check out the Interactive and Immersive HQ Pro. The HQ Pro is the only comprehensive educational resource and community for immersive design, touch designer, and creative tech pros. In the HQ Pro trainings, we cover almost any topic you can think of, and we go way more in depth than we do in our YouTube tutorials. We have a private group where Matthew Reagan, myself, and our other industry veteran and pioneer teachers answer your questions every single day. If that sounds cool, click the link in the description to learn more. And if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe for more free touch designer and immersive content.